everyone. Welcome to the next season of America's Next Chef. Today we have three finalists going over America's favorite dishes. Starting out the round. Hello, I'm Alton and I love food so much. I will not tolerate food. Our next judge is America's sweetheart and Italy's pride and joy. I'm so excited to be here, everyone. And Gordon, dare I say you look as good as ever. Right, thank you. No, wait, let me explain. Look, I, I was gonna make a cheesecake, I swear, but then I burnt the crust and then the filling and then the toppings, and it just turned into a big biochemical hazard. I'm sorry. Do you want to try it? it? It might still work, maybe. What? Fucking like an alien or some sh Never in my decades of cooking have I seen something so absolutely disgusting. You f get that right out of my sight or I'll kill you. I'll kill your family. I'll kill your cat. I'll kill your dog. I'll kill your hamster. Put it in the f wave and eat it like soup. Since we've all had a, a pop top before, our next contestant, Steven, will be moving on to. Oh, thanks everyone. Um, you know, representing Portland. Um, I got this banging dish right here in um vegan. Enjoy. Steven, I need you to f and this dish sucks. You and your family could be f dead. <laughs> nah, trust me, bro. Shit, vegan. I'm, I'm telling you, it bangs harder than your mom. <coughs> War, famine, death, burning orphanages. Death. <laughs> you know, after that horrible dish that that vegan fed me, I, I honestly had flashbacks. Like, you know, my uncle's basement terrifies me. I don't want to go back there, man. I, every time I take a bite, food like that reminds me of him. I don't want to go back down there. So, is there anything you want to say? Yo. Someone called Peter, bro. Stay vegan. You know, I hope that vegan has horses. And I hope that she's from Enumclaw. Because I swear to God, I'm going to come down there and... Um, chefs, what I believe you're tasting there is actually a uh, seasoning. Yeah, I, I used it back at home. I thought I would try it out here too. Give, give me that. Give me it's mine. This is competition. I was a bit skeptical, but I knew once I saw the other competitors, all I had to do was keep it simple. I'm so happy to have won this competition and make a name for myself as a chef, you know? I mean, it couldn't have just been seasoning that was the success of your victory. I mean, that's some boundary pushing seasoning right there. I mean, yeah, mainly seasoning. Oh, that and cocaine. Like, lots of cocaine, fentanyl and all. Like, they're, they're gonna want more of that broccoli beef. Rejects, and welcome to our first edition of Reject Update. It's time to update all of you on what the news has to offer us this week. The United States Space Force recently published what they called the Guardian Spirit Handbook, which teaches Space Force members how to be a true space guardian. 
The book is great to read after a typical Space Force workout, which is usually just two sets of drinking a Dr. Pepper. Narcon spray will soon be available nationwide in order to stop the worrying amount of the overdoses in the United States. Major cities like Houston and Los Angeles will receive 25,000 doses to start out, while Seattle will be given 100 trillion. Tornadoes continue to smack the so southeastern portion of the United States in one of the worst tornado seasons in years. Some residents in Oklahoma invented a new strategy to avoid losing their homes due to tornadoes. Residents call this new strategy moving. Walmart is planning to shift its inventory in order to keep generating profit as sales begin to drop. For unknown reasons, Walmart has specifically increased inventory of Pringles, rubber gloves, and sponges. Drake reportedly broke his betting curse by winning $2.7 million at UFC 287. So remember, if you decide to stop your gambling at your local casino, just remember you could be one spin away from getting a bazillion dollars. I am Gunnar Scott Miller, here to tell you all you gambling addicts to never give up and to keep going. The James Webb Space Telescope recently released new images of Uranus with giant rings. The telescope also found some beads, a butt plug, and surprisingly, an entire Buzz Lightyear figurine. <laughs> a Russian businessman on house arrest in Italy attempted to flee authorities to avoid extradition in the U.S. He actually fled because the only movie he could watch on his house's Blu-ray disc player was Shark Tale. France is continuing to see massive protests after announcing an overhaul to their pension system. The protests surrendered to the authorities once they realized they were French. Ukrainian President Zelensky recently visited Poland to strengthen the ties as the Russian invasion continues. I don't know if you are a history nerd, but an alliance with Poland during a global crisis is probably not the smartest move. An investigation by the U.S. Virgin Islands has recently subpoenaed four business leaders in relation to a case involving J.P. Morgan Chase's relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. This is unfortunate since they probably thought the location's name was enough to prove their innocence. Eli Lilly is currently working on an experimental Alzheimer's drug. The company says early studies show that the drug can remove brain plaque and does decrease the risk of Alzheimer's. Personally, dementia runs in my family, so I'm glad to see we are finally winning the fight against Alzheimer's. Eli Lilly is currently working on an experimental Alzheimer's. <laughs> go to the next one. I see what they did there. Bye. <laughs> Uh, there seems to be so much going on in the world right now. Wait, one sec. What? Oh, no. Gunner, we have breaking news to announce. I, I can't do this, man. I'm just too sad. I'm going to cry. So we just got some unfortunate breaking news. Nemo was shot dead in the Bronx outside a local bodega shop. Nemo played the clownfish Nemo in the 2004 animated movie Finding Nemo. Nemo was found with six bullets in his abdomen, chest, and skull. Nemo's dad, Marvin, was arrested and charged with first-degree murder. Holy. Let's take a moment of silence to remember Nemo. Woo. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Holy hell, man. All right, end of silence. New documents reveal that Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas used money from a GDP donor to take expensive vacations to various locations. Some of the locations included Indonesia, Jamaica, and for some unknown reasons, Enumclaw, Washington. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is running for president in 2024 as a member of the Democratic Party. Experts are saying that a win by Kennedy Jr. would be mind-blowing. Today is Easter for all of you Christians out there. I tried to do some research on what the second coming was, but instead, I could only find porn. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> that is definitely not Trevor John approved. Oh, oh Holy man. Holy smokes. Oh, um. <laughs> On to the next thing. I just want to jump in real quick and say a quick PSA. Oh boy. If you come to a party I hold,
Please do not throw up everywhere. My porch is for relaxing. It is not a slip and slide. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that's amazing. Whoever put that in, I love you. <laughs> Oh gosh, oh, man. I hope whoever did that, and whoever puked on my wall as well, I'm going to find you. And when I do, just know, this is not a threat, it's a promise. With the NBA playoffs approaching, teams are starting to fight for the final spots. The Nuggets, Grizzlies, and the Kings are currently top of the Western Conference, while the top of the Eastern Conference is basically ranked by how racist the cities are. A five-year-old daughter of a Mas Massachusetts mom used her mother's phone to order over $4,000 of child-sized motorbikes and cowgirl boots. The child was also happy when she knows her mom recently bought more items for her, including a brand new belt. Three trees fell down during the Masters tournament on Friday, suspending play for the day. The trees fell due to Tiger Woods not being able to find the exit out of the parking lot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Microsoft is releasing a new AI image generator for Edge in the coming weeks. Time to watch Zootopia for a little bit of inspiration. <laughs> Uh, the, the Seattle Mariners have been recently struggling in their opening games. A lot of the Mariners seem to have trouble finding their home, just like the people behind their stadium. The new electric Ram truck has a whopping 500 mile range, obliterating other competition like Ford and Chevy. That 500 mile range will really come in handy once I figure out the best way to get rid of a dead body. Uh. <laughs> This fight, wow, this final <laughs> line is not a joke. This is me being 100% serious. When I read this next line, there's one thing I want everyone watching to know. This is 100% me being me. Andrew Tate, who is accused of sex trafficking, has recently been released from prison. And all I gotta say is it's about damn time. We love you, Top G. God damn it. Uh, just read the next line. Thank you all for watching. We are probably canceled now, but at least we have fun shooting the show. We sure did. Good night and enjoy Scientology. Oh, what, Whoa, the? what the hell? Look towards me. Oh! <laughs> did you spray me? <laughs> Try spraying me. Ha 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 ha!